Hello, Chuckleberry. Can you say hello and welcome back to a new vlog? Say hello, Chuckleberry. Yeah. So handsome. Yeah. Hello, Princess. How's the girl? Oh, hello, sweet girl. Hello. It's so nice to see you today. guys and welcome back to a new vlog so today is Sunday it is August 18th I think it is today and it is currently about 6:20 at night I am making some dinner right now and just hanging out with the puppies watching my TV shows and I figured I would start a new vlog you know because my birthday is coming up Woo! I officially turn 26 years old on Friday, so on August 23rd, I will be 26, which is mind-blowing to me. I have a lot of fun things planned. I wanted to vlog them, so this week has been very long, very busy. I went to two concerts this week. On Monday, I went and saw Volby and Slipknot, and Behemoth was there, and Gojira was also there. They were pretty good. That was my first time seeing them. It was also my first time seeing Slipknot, which I thought was really cool. They were absolutely amazing. And then the very next night, so Tuesday, I went and saw Rob Zombie and Marilyn Manson and of course that was absolutely amazing I did take some concert footage which I will insert here now due to YouTube's like copyright and song policy I am gonna speed up the clips just a little bit so if it sounds kind of funny that's why but I just I love including concert footage in my vlog so if you guys want to see that here are those clips now
So yeah, as you can see, it was absolutely amazing. My neck still hurts and my voice is still trying to come back from those concerts. I had so much fun. I have never head banged so hard in my entire life for Slipknot. Like that was one of those concerts where I'm pretty sure I might've did some serious damage to my neck and my throat from screaming and head banging so much, but oh, it was so good. It was so much fun. And I was absolutely exhausted. Like the rest of this week, I've just been trying to catch up on sleep honestly because I'm I'm beat man like I'm getting to the point in my age where going to two concerts in a week I'm like I'm fucked Slipknot fucking killed it they played like two of my favorite songs which is Vermilion and Sulfur loved that they played some songs off of the Iowa album they also did uh, some songs off of their new album which I just recently got and downloaded today and I've been like on a Slipknot kick ever since then just obsessed with Slipknot just listening to all their music all their old music my favorite album of all time is the Subliminal Verses album that one hands down is by far the best one Manson was actually really good. This was my second time seeing Manson and my second time seeing Zombie. And I actually enjoyed Manson more this time around than the first time. Just because I feel like the sound at Van Andel Arena is better than 20 Monroe Live. Manson actually took a piss on stage. For those of you who went to the Grand Rapids concert, he took a piss right on the drums in the middle of his concert. That was pretty crazy. And it was also, I believe it was his first time back at the Van Andel Arena since oh gosh maybe the 90s or early 2000s or something like that because he was almost arrested because he assaulted a security guard he almost went to prison and he was banned from the Van Andel Arena and this was his first time back I'm pretty sure and of course he made jokes about it and it was kind of crazy because I noticed during his performance there was like police officers and security guards all standing on the side during his concert like I don't know if they were just waiting for him to fuck up or not but that was pretty crazy so it, he was really entertaining he performed antichrist superstar which i have always 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 wanted to see him perform that live they both manson and zombie were really interactive with the crowd like i was so sad that i didn't get ga seats for that because to be right up front and just to touch manson <sighs> Oh my God, dude, I would have fucking loved it. So I'm going to go check on my dinner. I am having just a simple little yummy dinner. I'm having some French fries and I'm gonna make a turkey sandwich. Just something simple. I really need to go grocery shopping again because once again, we're starting to get a little empty in here. But for my birthday this year, uh, my best friend actually rented a pontoon boat. So me, my friend, my sister, her fiance, and maybe my boyfriend, depending on if we can make it or not, we are going to go on a boat for the day and just kind of hang out, listen to music, swim, drink, you know, have fun. So that's what we're doing for my birthday day. I don't know what we're doing for nighttime yet, if we're going out or if we're going to wait for the next day. And then the 24th is actually the one year anniversary of my dad's passing, unfortunately. So it's kind of like a kind of like a good slash rough week this week because it's like it's exciting that it's my birthday, but it's also sad because it's been one year since my dad passed away. And I think for that day we're gonna go spread some of his ashes at his favorite place and maybe go out to lunch but i think that's really it i just missed you guys and i really wanted to start another vlog i've been really keeping up on youtube and stuff lately i've been getting ready for the halloween season which i'm going to start filming in september i'm so excited about that but i have to do like a lot of like preparation and planning for that because the way youtube is now and because they're so censored I have to be really careful with like how I film things, what the thumbnails look like, what I title the videos because if I post like back in the day I used to be able to post like a very gory bloody thumbnail and you know YouTube wouldn't think anything of it whereas nowadays I would get blocked, demonetized, they would hide my channel, my revenue would go down, my views would go down, I would lose subscribers so I'm trying to be very smart about it this year and try to you know just think things through so that's gonna start in September I'm really excited I think I have about three or four like for sure plans for this year oh do you guys like my nails 
I did my nails for the Slipknot concert last Sunday, so I've had them on for a week now. These were $3 at Dollar General, and they look so good. Like, the black is a little scuffed up, but, like, look how cute the little leopard print is. I'm obsessed. It looks so cute. I'm going to go finish up getting my dinner ready, and then I have to keep, I've had a fly flying around my downstairs living room for like three days now and I've been trying to kill it and every time I think I kill it it still fucking shows up and that's the thing with Avril she her ultimate fear her number one fear in life is house flies she can't stand it so every time there's a fly down here she runs upstairs and goes right in her crate and I don't see her for the rest of the day so I have to try to kill this fly so my dog can come downstairs and be a part of the family and that's another thing is if I don't kill this fly and I leave for work in the morning, she's gonna scream all day because she sees and hears the fly. You know what I mean? So I have to kill that motherfucker. I just don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. So I have to come up with some sort of like murder plan. Yummy French fries. guys welcome back so today is thursday it is august 22nd it is currently 6 1 p.m i'm currently sitting in my kitchen watching youtube videos and i just finished doing my nails i decided to change up my nails for my birthday which is tomorrow so i did these really pretty pink with the um tiger tiger stripes oh yeah those those are my birthday nails and i also painted my uh toenails to a nice red color so I'm just doing that just kind of hanging out watching YouTube videos doing my nails you know just having me time this is like my favorite way to have me time is just sit down watch YouTube videos do my nails and be happy I wanted to update you guys because I wanted to talk to you about something maybe those of you who do or do not know I suffer from TMJ which is a condition from grinding or clenching your teeth I have always been a teeth clencher and a I've always grinded my teeth at night. It's really bad at night when I sleep and it's also as I've gotten older and just the stress of like adult life I guess you could say. Um, it has gotten a lot worse during the day. So like during the day and I don't even notice it I will clench my teeth and I have had a lot of really negative side effects from that because I haven't really done anything about it because I didn't know there was anything you could do about it. It's just, it's really, really been affecting my jaw. Not so much the left side, I don't have any issues with that. It is the right side of my jaw. I have done quite a bit of damage to my teeth and quite a bit of damage to my jaw. Every single day I wake up and I am in constant pain. There, are, I cannot remember the last time I was not in pain from my jaw. Um, it hurts to eat, it hurts to yawn, it hurts to talk. It has caused so much damage to my teeth and my jaw, like this part of my jaw right here. Like this is the part that really hurts, is this part. And I've done so much damage to it that the last time I went to the dentist, I basically said like, you know, I, I'm basically in chronic pain every day. Like my jaw is killing me. 
I grind my teeth really bad. So I said, what can we do? And she said, well, I mean, the best thing we can do is get you a mouth guard. The one thing that was holding me back from doing that for so long was the money. Because if you have ever gone to the dentist to have any sort of like, you know, mouth guard fitting or um, tooth extraction, implants, dentures, whatever the case may be, it is so expensive. Dental in the United States of America is astronomically high. It is so incredibly expensive. That's why I didn't go to the dentist for five years because I don't have dental insurance. So every single time I go to the dentist, it is all out of pocket for me, unfortunately. But my jaw was to the point where it was so bad and so severe that I had to do something about it or I was gonna have major issues and have to go to the hospital because my jaw was locked, you know what I mean? And I had, like maybe a few weeks ago, I started actually having, when I would wake up in the morning and I would have locked jaw. I couldn't open my mouth, I couldn't speak, I couldn't do anything. The only way I could get my mouth open is if I held a warm compress on my jaw for about 10 minutes and then slowly force my mouth open and then it would make a loud sound, like a loud popping sound. So I did make the decision to finally get a mouth guard and I just got it on Tuesday, so it's now Thursday, so I've only had it for two days. I'm not kidding you, when I tell you how much this mouth guard is, this is what I had to pay out of pocket. This mouth guard cost me six hundred dollars six zero zero for a mouth guard so it came in this little case right here kind of like a retainer case when you have braces that's what it reminded me of and they gave me the option to do either an upper or a lower and i was like well which one's better and they said well a lot of people who have the upper mouth guard they say that it makes them gag and i was like oh then i don't want that because i have a really bad gag reflex when i go to the dentist like I have a hard time getting a teeth cleaning without gagging. So I was like, oh, then let's do the lower. So I ended up getting a lower piece mouth guard and this is what it looks like. I will just kind of show you an up close view. So my teeth were, um, they do it differently nowadays, but my teeth were actually scanned with a machine. Like I didn't have to do that really gross like mold impression. Um, they basically took this machine, they scanned my teeth and two weeks later my mouth guard was here. So. This is what it looks like. I just pop it in that way at night before I go to sleep or when I take a nap or whatever. Basically what this does is it kind of, well first of all it does, it protects my teeth from grinding and another thing is it kind of keeps my jaw propped open a little bit so it's not being clenched if that makes sense. It was kind of awkward and uncomfortable to wear the first night like I didn't really know I was like there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this I was like this is extremely uncomfortable but I do notice it is getting easier but this is my new little mouth guard already I am sleeping a whole lot better since I've had this like the last two days that I've wore or the last two nights I should say that I've worn this I've noticed like a huge difference in just my sleeping I'm not waking up in the middle of the night from pain or anything or my jaw locking or popping or whatever this little piece of molded fucking hard plastic was six hundred dollars but another really cool thing that I wanted to share with you guys is and I didn't even know like they were gonna let me keep this but um, right when I was about to leave, she was like, oh, and we usually just throw them away, but I like to ask my patients if they want to keep it. So when they scan your mouth to get you fitted for a mouth guard, uh, they print like 3D impressions of your whole entire mouth. And she was like, and I have them here and you can take them home if you want them. And I was like, um, heck yeah. So I actually got to keep the full molding of my teeth. Look how cool this is. In case any of you are curious, like, these are what my teeth look like. And this is that really bad tooth with like the really bad receding gum line. You can, you can literally see it in the impression. I don't know, I just thought this was really super cool. And then this is what my bottom teeth look like. And I also have like a really bad receding gum line down here on this tooth and I think there's another one somewhere but I don't know I just thought this was really cool and the fact that they let me keep this I was like ah like hell yeah like I paid six hundred dollars you fucking bet I'm gonna keep this I just thought it would make like kind of a cool like Halloween decoration I don't know like I'm kind of I'm kind of freaky and weird like that but I God, that tooth is bad. So I just wanted to show you guys that because I know a lot of people suffer from it and trust me, I know the feeling, it sucks, it hurts, but there is help. 
even though it's expensive, so far it's worth it. I can't wait to see what the next couple weeks or couple months are gonna bring. I'm I'm very, very excited about this mouth guard. I think the rest of the night I am going to just finish up doing some laundry and then I need to pack for tomorrow. Like I need to pack all my alcohol and bathing suit and towels and things like that. I will see you guys in the morning for my 26th birthday. That's insane to me. Do you guys realize I started YouTube like doing it full time when I was 19? So I've been doing this for seven years. I have been a YouTuber for seven years. Like where the heck does time go? And it's crazy because some of you watching this right now have been with me through the entire seven years. Like that's crazy to me. If it wasn't for you guys, I probably would have stopped doing this a long time ago, but I love YouTube. I honestly, I don't know who I would be without YouTube because I've always, it's always been a part of me. It's always been something that I love to do. I can't believe it's been like seven years. That's crazy. Where does time go, dude? That's insane. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop blabbering now. I just wanted to share a quick little life update with you guys, but I will talk to you guys very soon in the next clip. Bye. So today is currently Sunday. It is August 25th today and it is about 7.15 at night. So Friday, August 23rd, as you guys saw, was my 26th birthday and we went out on a boat all day. We were on there for like eight hours. We <laughs> listened to music, we drank, we had fun. It was, it was such a blast. I had such a good time. And then after that, we basically came home and just crashed. We were all so tired and a little bit drunk, but that's okay. And then Saturday, August 24th was the one year anniversary of my dad's passing. Um, I didn't post about it. I didn't vlog at all that day. I just kind of wanted to have that day to myself and not really think about it, I guess. So I did some things in honor of my dad. I went to his very first apartment complex that I had a lot of really good childhood memories in and we just kind of drove around and sat down and just kind of talked about my dad so it was it was a good day I struggled a little bit in the morning but as long as I would kept myself busy I felt better and then today I've just been kind of trying to like settle back into routine I feel like I'm getting sick like I feel like a sore throat coming on I don't know if that's just from you know the concerts and then my birthday and all that stuff I don't know if I just strained my throat to death but I feel like I'm getting a little bit sick which is super unfortunate but I wanted to end this vlog with a haul from Spirit Halloween sorry Avril's been like super clingy all weekend so she's <laughs> she's just right you're just right in the way girl. Yeah. yeah I did go to Spirit Halloween because they are open and I went inside and I got a few things that I figured I would show you guys on camera. So I have two bags worth, two really big bags from Spirit Halloween, which I'm so excited about. I was actually very surprised that they were open, honestly, but they are open and ready. That means it's almost spooky season and I am super excited about it. The first thing that I got were these uh, bloody hand clings 
and they just look like this and I liked these because these were like the most realistic looking ones and I imagine these can go on windows or on your car or whatever I think I'm gonna put them on my windows once it gets closer to Halloween so I did get those the next thing I got was another kind of decal for my car and as you guys know last year I got the Michael Myers decal for my car and I saw this one and I thought it would be like the perfect addition and that is this Edward Scissorhands one so as you can see it's like the silhouette and then on the front it says well you may think that but you're wrong this was $2.99 these bloody hand clings were $4.99 uh, the next thing I got which is something that I actually needed and that is the super stretch white spider webs I need these to set up my Halloween display for my makeup looks and then whatever's left over I can use as a decoration so I'm very very excited about this I love these things this is like one of my favorite Halloween decorations to get I love this this was only how much did I pay for the spider webs these were $6.99. Holy shit, that's expensive. I always thought they were way cheaper than that. The next thing I got, which I'm super excited about, like one of my favorite sections in Spirit Halloween is like the home decor and like decoration aisle. I love that stuff. And of course the makeup aisle, obviously. I get a lot of my prosthetics from there as well. But I saw this one and I've never seen it before and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And it is a skeleton of a shark. I saw it and I was like, oh my god, this thing is so cool. This was uh, $16.99 for this. Like, I could just like... And then the very last thing that I got at Spirit Halloween, I definitely don't need this, but I saw it and I had. And I mean had to have it. It is a Halloween Michael Myers fleece and it is this blanket right here. So here's what the blanket looks like when it's all laid out. I still have it in the packaging because I want to wash it before I use it. Dude, like you have no idea. I cannot wait to get this out for spooky season. We are going to have so many naps in this and this was $24.99. But yeah, that is everything that I got at Spirit Halloween. I am definitely going to go back in the next couple of weeks or so once they have more of their stock there because it is still pretty early so they didn't have like a ton of stuff so I will definitely be going back to get more stuff I'm very excited I absolutely love spirit Halloween and when I saw that they were open I was like we have to go in we have to do that so I did that on Saturday as well but I'm really getting in the spirit I'm super ready for Halloween I'm super ready for spooky season the rest of the night I am going to finish editing this vlog for you guys so I can get it up and I'm also going to use my spider webs and start setting up my little Halloween display because I do have everything like laid out and ready to go so I just need to add the spider webs and get it all like set up and whatnot thank you so much to everyone who gave me birthday wishes I really do appreciate it I had a really good birthday it was a great day and just this year so far has been pretty good so I'm very happy and very grateful for all of you so thank you guys again so much for watching this vlog if you guys did did enjoy it make sure you go down and give me a huge thumbs up don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel until then I will see you guys very very soon in my next video I love you guys bye